guys, welcome back. My name is Ali. if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week, beauty, bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have for you guys a massive makeup haul. Um, I'm going to try to insert swatches. I'm going to insert swatches. I'm going to stop being lazy and I'm going to do the swatches. So yeah, I will be doing swatches and yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. My sister also did send me a massive box of makeup, but I'm not going to include that into the haul because it's not things that I actually bought. It was just things that were gifted to me. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this haul so i'm going to start with lips because i actually need to apply more so i did go ahead and hit up sugared cosmetics and i bought three of her lip lip glosses okay so the first one i got was the cherry vanilla glaze and this one is so pretty you guys it's just a nude and it has some glitter in it and it is overall glossy the smell Okay, so it's glossy. The smell is delicious. It's not thick. It's not tacky. You can feel the glitter whenever you first apply it and you go, which I need to stop doing because it's hurting my jaw, but whenever you like rub your lips together and then like after that, like you can't feel the glitter at all. Like it just kind of, I don't want to say disappears, but you can't feel it as intensely as you first could. And then the second gloss I picked up was actually her sparkling champagne gloss. Now I haven't tried this one. This one has a glitter in it too. And I'm just a sucker for a good clear gloss. And I was like, you know what? Like, let's mix it up a little bit. Like, let's get a gloss with a little bit of glitter in it. Like, a little bedazzling in it. And so, yeah, that's why I need to go ahead and pick up this one. And then this one was just intriguing to me. Like, this this gloss just intrigued me. And all of these glosses were $6.99. And so, I did go ahead and pick up her rose gold lip gloss. She also has a lip oil that's rose gold. And I don't know, like just the packaging and the fact that this has gold and rose petals in it, I was just like, ooh, okay, like let me try it. And then the last thing that I did pick up from Sugar Cosmetics where I picked up these lashes in the style Sugar. These retailed for $10.99, you guys. Okay, now these lashes right here, I'm telling y'all, every time I buy a pair of lashes, like they get more and more dramatic, like, Y'all, when have y'all ever seen me wear a pair of lashes this big, this dramatic, and this pretty? Like, don't get me wrong. I can't wait to wear them. And I think I, they would have rocked with today's eye look. But, yeah. These are super duper pretty. And I can't wait. I actually love her lashes. They're good quality. They last a really long time. They're not hard to apply. I do have to trim her lashes a little bit, though, because my eyes are not as wide as the band. But other than that, I have to do that with a lot of lashes, even drugstore lashes. So, that wasn't a real big issue for me okay so the next thing that i did pick up was actually this makeup revolution hydra bomb lip gloss now just the name made me think of the fenty gloss bombs and so that's the only reason that i picked this up and i did go ahead and pick up mine in the shade shade dripping and i think that it's so cute because it has like these little water droplets that are on the lid not actual water droplets but replica water droplets on the lid and i just thought that that was super cute use it but this is just what the packaging looks oh okay that doe foot scoops out a lot of product but that is just what the packaging looks like that doe foot had product dripping everywhere so yeah that's super duper cute and this was seven dollars Another thing that I did go ahead and pick up was actually, I put some of this stuff back in the packaging because I filmed with it today. I did go ahead and pick up the CoverGirl Lid Lock Up, Lid Lock Up Eyeshadow Primer. And this does it retail for $8.99. I feel like this is very, very similar to the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, just based off of my first impressions. But this is just what it looks like now. Even though you see a tint on it right here, it does blend out um, more clear and it does get not super tacky, but it definitely does get a tack feeling to it. So I don't know, you guys, these this might have me a believer in eyeshadow primers. Like I knew that I liked a couple of the e.l.f. ones, but like I never liked an eyeshadow primer enough to just stick with it. And this just might change the game, you guys. Like it just might hippity hop me onto that bandwagon. Okay, so the next thing I did pick up was this 
Vivid Bright Eye Cream, and I picked mine out in the shade Cyber Pop. Okay, so first of all, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but this is what the picture looks like. You know what, I'm gonna screenshot it. This is what the picture looks like online. Now, you can see that this looks really, really red and pretty, so I'm like, ooh, it's gonna be a really pretty red. So I proceed to open it. This looks nothing like the lid. Like, what happened? I wanted to do a red wing today, and I was like, well, what happened? But this retailed for $10, and now that I'm looking back, I'm like, see, Allie, you second-guessed it because you did not like their Vivid, Vivid Bright's eyeshadow palette. Had I kept that same energy, because this is already dry, you guys, and I haven't even used it. I barely even took it out of the packaging today, and it feels so dry. So I don't know. I'm going to keep, I'm going to try it for real one day but so the next thing i did go ahead and pick up though was this milani cheek kiss cream blush and i got mine in the shade coral crush this one was 8.99 i'm just trying to build up my cream products some more because it is something that's really really coming back in is cream products so whether it be cream blushes cream bronzers cream highlights like cream eyeshadows like creams are just making their way back in Anyways, they're making it, they're making their way back into the makeup world in a very big bang, like boom, y'all forgot about us, we back, haha. -ha. Like that's what cream products are doing right now. And so yeah, this one was $8.99. Okay, so the next thing I picked up, and I don't know if I got a dud spritzer on this or what the case is, because I feel like so many people love this, but I just don't like the spritzer on this. Like that is my only gripe about it because I feel like it has my face looking nice and pretty and silky and smooth and not dry. But I don't like the spritzer on this. Like I feel like I have to spray so much to cover my whole face because it's not, maybe I need to spray it slower because I was just like, I don't know. I didn't like it whenever I used it, but I don't know. But this actually does retail for $10. And this was just the next Bear With Me Prime Set and refresh and it says up to eight hours hydration oh hydration up to eight hours so yeah i did go ahead and pick that up just because something i've really really been eyeballing for such a long 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 time okay so one thing i did pick up because i haven't ever i, I barely bought a super shock super shock blush from ColourPop, and i was like oh i really like this blush but I wanted to try another one and I was just like, I just went on Ulta and I was like, okay, like what's new? So everything I've mentioned so far is stuff that Ulta said was new and that I picked up. So one of the things that I did pick up was this ColourPop blush and this is from their Romance, Romance collection. And this blush is in the shade color, um, color. This love is in the shade Love Story and it just says perfectly nude with gold sparkles. And I agree, like this blush is so flipping pretty. Like I have it on today and it does add just like the prettiest glow, but it's also like peachy, but not too peachy. It's like a nude peach. Like, I don't know. I love this blush. It's it's a really pretty, pretty color. So let me see. So the next thing I did go ahead and pick up was actually these falsies from ColourPop also. And these ones are in the style Queenie. Now, these are the eyelashes that I wore in my chit chat, get ready with me. And I didn't, these were difficult to apply. They didn't want to stay on. They kept lifting. They're just not the most amazing thing. I mean, for eight bucks for one pair of lashes, like, nah. Like, I wouldn't purchase any more ColourPop lashes unless I just knew that I knew that I knew that they were going to be good because these in the style Queenie were just, oh, because these in the style Queenie were just not the business for me. Like, I'm just not a fan of them. So, yeah, not mm -hmm, mm, not the biggest fan of those lashes. And that's okay. There's a lot of things that don't work out for everybody. So, okay, so I did pick up. Hold on, let me gather them all up so that way I can show you guys. I picked up the entire collection of these LA Girl Pastel Dream Eyeliners. And these retail for $4.99 each. They were actually on sale for $3.49. And then I threw my discount on there so i paid 331 for each of them so i went ahead and picked up the shade baby pink and then i got sunshine i got sunshine 
on a cloudy day. And then I picked up marshmallow. I honestly only grabbed the white one because it was called marshmallow. I don't know, I'm obsessed with the word marshmallows right now. Not actual marshmallows, but the word marshmallow right now, like I'm obsessed with it, don't know why. And then I picked up magic mint. And then I got lavender, which is actually my favorite color is this shade of purple. And then I picked up powder blue. So yeah, I just wanted to pick all of these up. I have their, I have a few of their vivid gel liners. I th oh, shockwave. They're called shockwave gel liners. I have the purple and the yellow one, but I was like, I liked those so much. I was like, let me just pick up these and try them. And plus I was intrigued that the packaging to me is just so pretty. Like it reminds me of those pencils when you were younger, like you would pull the tip out and then stick it in the back and then like you would have a new fresh tip. But if you lost one of them pieces, if you lost one of them pieces in that pencil, throw the whole pencil away. Throw the whole pencil away. Cause once you lose one of them little blocks in there, it's done for. Okay, and then the last, or uh, the next thing that I got was actually the e.l.f. Putty Blush in Bali. Now I also used this in my chit chat get ready with me and i had to apply a lot of this a lot of this in that video in order to get it to even show up because okay when it came when it, online it don't look that dark like i'm gonna take another screenshot so y'all can see what it looks like online and it don't look like it's that dark whenever you buy it online and then i got it in person and i was like oh man like oh man that's gonna be real dark and then i applied it and i had to apply like two or three layers so I'm glad for that. Like, at least it wasn't so dark that I couldn't use it. But yeah, so this was a little bit deceiving in every aspect. Purchasing it online, getting it in the mail, and then applying it. Like, it was a whole deal with this. So, yeah. Okay. Another thing that I picked up was actually these um, Dashing Diva Ultra, Ultra Shine Gel Color. Now, these are just the nail sticker things. I have the shade... This shade, which is called, what is this called? Poppy, Poppy Power. So I have this shade on in Poppy Power. And then I also picked up these in Rose Quartz. These look a little bit different than they looked online too, but still pretty nonetheless. And I actually liked this process. Putting them on was really easy. I would definitely say you're gonna have to trim some because I'm not gonna waste all these super big ones. Like, I'd rather just keep applying them and they were super easy. So yeah, I love this. It's still a little bit time consuming, but at least once I get them on, like I don't have to wait all that time for them to dry. And then I'm basically handicapped for like an hour from doing anything that needs to be done. So I did go ahead and try these out. And these were actually $6.99 and that's what I liked about them was how affordable they were. Cause usually if you try to buy some of these, you're paying like $10 and up. And so these are the Dashing Diva brand. And then, like I said, I got Rose Quartz and then I got poppy power and those were $6.99 okay so the next thing I picked up was the holy hydration makeup melting cleansing balm cleansing balm and I picked this up because I'm about to run out of my Clinique one and this is a dollar more than the little Clinique one that I buy which usually lasts me like a couple of months the little Clinique one will last me about a couple of months but I was like if I can spend one more dollar and get more products and it's just as good, like why won't I just do that? So that's the whole reason that I got this is I just wanted to try it out honestly and just see if it does, if it is up to par to my Clinique one because then I could spend $1 more and get a whole lot more product. Mm. Like it doesn't have a strong scent, but there's definitely a scent, but it's not a bad scent. So yeah, I'm excited to try that out whenever I run out of my Clinique balm. But that is why I went ahead and picked this up. Okay, so one thing, I have it on my eyes today and I was super excited for this palette is the BH Cosmetics Lunar New Year palette. Now this palette retails for $21 and it is a beautiful, beautiful palette. I have this one in the center of my lid. I have these two on the center of my lid and then this is in the crease. I also have Lantern. I also have Lantern on and then I have Mandarin on my eye as well. And so, yeah, this is a really pretty palette, really good. I'll have swatches up, but but yeah, I really did like this palette, super blendable, super good. And I mean, just look at this palette. Now, if you know, you know what that is supposed to represent. And then, Lunar is for the moon goddess. That's what Lunar New Year is, it worships the moon goddess. So, 
yeah so 2021 edit um so i did i was looking for a new mascara so i could have an actual full face full face of first impressions and i mean people have been going crazy over this mascara i've seen videos of it on instagram on tiktok and people are just like oh my gosh wow look at my lashes so that was the last sensational sky high mascara i ended up getting mine in waterproof why i don't know i don't know why i chose waterproof this retailed for 11.49 and i feel like this needs to dry out before i can give you guys like my honest 100 percent thoughts on this because as of right now i truly feel like it does not do that much for my lashes but it is a super wet formula so i feel like if it dried out just a little bit like just a little bit i would feel a lot better Okay, so I got the new Wet n Wild Brow Gel. This is a brow ses brow sessive brow gel, and I got clear. This retails for $3.99, thank goodness. I really wish I would have grabbed a color one, but honestly, once you get past the fact that it turned your brows white, because this is not clear, like it comes out white, like Elmer's glue white. So what I had to do was scrape off the excess and then go through my brows and once i did that like i feel like my brows look really good today like i feel like they look good they look good if you ask me so yeah i did go ahead and pick this up but like i said i recommend if you pick this up wipe off the excess whether you get clear or a tinted one i would recommend wiping off the excess because it does like it adds like like you're gonna get some product in them brows like you're gonna get some product in them brows so i'd recommend wiping off the excess okay so i also did go ahead and pick up their brow obsessive brow pencil and this one is in the shade dark brown this retailed for 2.99 and i was saying this reminds me of the one that they used to sell for a dollar but this one actually is a little bit more of a better formula than the one that they sell for a dollar my only gripe is going to be that it's not going to stay sharp all the time because it's not like an auto pencil. So I will have to sharpen this. And like that's going to be my only gripe about it because I feel like the color turned out great. The product, the formula is great. And I highly recommend it if you're needing a really, really good affordable brow pencil. I really do recommend this brow pencil. And that's just off of my first impression of that brow pencil. Okay, so the next two things that I got were actually these Wet n Wild, their new tin pan eyeshadow palettes. Now, these just remind me of the ones that they already had with the black packaging. I don't know what they had, but there were a lot of dupes for um, higher end palettes. Like they used to have a dupe for the Modern Renaissance and things like that, which I feel like I basically got again, which is in the shade Heart and Soul. And this is just what this one looks like. And so, yeah, I feel like this one is a dupe. I got this one though, because it's super pretty. Should I do a Valentine's Brian and I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. You got to do your own research as to why but i could, could definitely do like a date night makeup look with this and i think that that would be super duper pretty because it has like all the pinks the soft pinks the browns like i think that that would be pretty so that one was in the shade heart and soul and then i really 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 want to do a cool tone look with this one and this one was in the shade lights off and i just thought that this one was so pretty i don't know what drew me to this one and the only reason i ended up picking these up was because Leela had was because Leela had actually did a review on Elf's new Elf Wet n Wild's new eyeshadow palettes and I was like ooh okay I'm gonna have to try them so that's what I I led led me to pick up these ones and then I also wanted to grab eyeshadow palettes that like I wouldn't normally gravitate towards so obviously this super cool toned one and then like something with a whole lot of pinks even though I just got that Huda Beauty palette in my ipsy but I didn't know I was gonna get that hey didn't know I was going to get that palette when I purchased that one. So, yeah, but I'm super excited for Lights Off. Like, I can't wait to do, like, a deep, sultry, smoky, cool-toned eye with that. And those retail for $5.99, you guys. Okay, so the last thing I actually picked up from Ulta was this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. And this was $13. And I got it because it was small. And I was like, who in their right mind actually needs, like, that ginormo eyeshadow primer? But I don't know, I was just intrigued, wanted to try it. But if you ask me, just get the co the ColourPop, the CoverGirl one. I feel like they're the same thing, but obviously I'm going to keep this or I'll give it to my sister. I don't know, but you guys know I don't use a lot of high-end stuff on my channel or I try not to because I, I don't like watching videos where it's like, man, I'm like, I really want that, but I don't have money. And like, it kind of gets you like in this feeling down situation. And I don't want that for you guys. So 
yeah i mean i try to keep it as affordable as possible but i mean sometimes i do want to spoil myself and oh. that was the last thing that i picked up and then a couple of things that i actually got from influencer and if you aren't aware what influencer is it's an app where you go on there and you review products that you've tried and you just keep reviewing stuff and eventually they'll start emailing you these things these campaigns to be a part of and to test out free products and um you do a review on them whenever you're done sometimes you have to post on social media so i get free products from influencer and i get makeup a lot of, i get a lot of makeup sometimes and sometimes i just get things like for instance i got a ginormous perfume from them right here so i did not pay for this but i did go ahead and receive this perfume right here this is the oscar de la renta bella blanca perfume <laughs> Yeah. And so the box, first of all, is yeah. beautiful. And you actually do the quizzes because they want to know, like, are, would you even be like the perfect fit? Like, are you going to like the scent? Like, there's no point in us sending you something that, you know, like you're not going to be a fan of. So they will not send you stuff. But look at how pretty. Okay, but look at how pretty this bottle is, you guys. Like, you guys cannot tell me. Like, I should just leave this right there. Like that looks so pretty. I think I'm gonna do that. But anyways, this perfume is like my type of perfume. Cause sometimes a lot of the time they can send me for perfumes that smell too mature, Bryson. A lot of the times they can send me perfumes that smell a little bit too mature, a little too musky. I do not like musky scents. But this one is floral and it's just, it smells so good. Like this smells expensive, like expensive. So I'm excited to try that out and then another thing that they sent me and this is the second time that i'll receive vitamins from them and i love the first vitamins that they sent me i've also received water to try out like a new brand of water that was coming out like they had to test out all kinds of stuff and again like this is the name of the app it's called influencer anybody can do it you just sit there so yeah this is the second time that i've gotten vitamins from them so so this is the second time that I got vitamins from them. This is the brand and all of the crazy thing about all of these supplements that they all have probiotics in them, which is awesome, which I actually need right now because I'm taking antibiotics because of my dental surgery. So I need probiotics, but I got a woman's daily vitamin and I'm going to start taking that as soon as I'm done with the antibiotics. And then I got a nightly reboot. So this one is just to help you fall asleep faster. It has some melatonin and chamomile. And then I got a mood booster one, which I thought was super duper cute. And I just, I love the packaging. Like how cute are these? That's not what they look like. Like the vitamins aren't just thrown in there. They actually, it's a bottle inside of there. So yeah. Anyway, the whole reason I went on a rant about <laughs> influencers because I actually received some lashes from them to test out and I guess you could call it PR. I don't know, it's promotional to get reviews. So I got two pairs of Lily lashes. So the first style I got was Elite and then I got the style VIP, which is I'm wearing today. And I will actually pop a screen up, pop a picture up on the screen right now. And let me see what these retail for. Okay, so this is actually a new, I guess these are the styles that they're going to be carrying at Target. And they retail for 15 bucks. One of the other things I picked up was also from also from an indie brand, which is my sister's brand. And these are her lashes. And these are just in the number 16. And her brand is called Bougie on a Budget. You can find her on Instagram or Facebook, pretty much anywhere, all under the same name. So yeah, I did go ahead and pick up some lashes from her. These were super pretty. I thought that they were similar to sugar but they're not i feel like sugar has a little bit more going on than number 16 but sugar looks even more dramatic than number 16. can't wait to see what brian's gonna say about me and them lashes okay so i did go ahead and pick up this foundation and this concealer from il maquillage from their website and i would have to say that their color match quiz is spot on and perfect like spot on and perfect but first of all let's talk about this packaging Il Maquillage has some of the coolest packaging. I love it. So yeah, this is their woke up like this foundation and this is in the shade 060. Now I had originally thought that this was breaking me out, but it turns out that it was the primers that were breaking me out that I was using because they were years and years old. My B, my B. So I did go ahead and decide to keep this because the finish is beautiful. The coverage is 
very it can go from everyday coverage to very a full coverage and that's what i like about it and it doesn't make you matte and it doesn't make you dewy like it's like the perfect finish and so i do highly recommend trying out this foundation now i did also pick up their concealer their concealer has a bad word in it which is the f word it says f i'm flawless concealer and i got the shade number two and this is just actually super light i they keep sending me coupons for like $20 off, $15 off, which is the only reason I bought this concealer was because I had $20 off, so I paid like eight bucks for this concealer. And so, yeah, you guys, that is honestly, actually everything for this haul. Like I said, I'm wearing my VIP, or yeah, my VIP Lily Lashes right now, which are super pretty, $15. I still recommend like cheap lashes, but whatevs to each their own so yeah that is everything for this haul you guys i hope that you enjoyed it it's so exciting to because i noticed whenever i reported to them that i had a youtube channel to influence her, i started receiving more boxes so that's exciting um so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this go ahead and check out the influencer app i'll leave a link down below i don't get anything for it i don't think i don't think i do but i mean i want everybody to get free stuff so i'll leave a link for influencer down below um let me know what are some new products that i should probably be testing out or some indie brands that i should test out and let you guys see and and, and yeah let's, let's just interact and have a conversation in the comment section i love it so yeah i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.